Wednesday, guys. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday. You don't like my song? you last week to do my brows we made it we about to get 18 on Most of these are all mm -hmm. <laughs> and just on the siding and that's what we wanted hi where we going can i put my meat up Black, right? Why, why, why is the closure black? Because it came after I already dyed this. Oh, so you died. She already dyed the other three. This is the That's the closure she needs dyed. Okay. Your hair is washed and everything? Yeah. But yeah. This right here. Let's hope that that don't make you look thin in the back. But let me tell you what this is. So I told her just just in case it's a different texture here but from the same company right just in case you didn't have enough hair like i didn't want it to be a situation where she's like you're like oh i just need one more even if it needed to go on the bottom yeah because you know the longer that um here the less they needs. give you right so that's why i told her to go back in here and get it it's that closure y'all she about to be slay you want to say anything about your but you you no, leaving the 17s? You can't give me like this. I this, do not. This no. This is the before. Oh, go look in the mirror right now. Don't move it. Go look in the mirror. Mommy, Just I go look in the mirror. Mommy, Stop being dramatic. I don't need permission for this to go off. I have consent. I don't need consent. You under 18. Ah, y'all like how I did that. <laughs> I don't need her consent. She a day eighteen. Now, if she was eighteen, well, I mean, I'm yeah, still, like yeah, this. still. That looks cute. Anyway, this is me not paying her no attention, y'all. So we're about to get started. They're about to get started. I'm about to just take over the TV probably and be on my mini. I was gonna bring my laptop, but I didn't change my mind. What you guys getting into? No golden girls on Matlock. First of all, stop hating. Second of all, do not assume that's what I'm about to do. We don't include to me getting that. Yeah, she's probably right. We, I don't even know what you're talking about. The golden girl. That's what she's trying to watch. I didn't even mention it. She just decided to. I was saying it was off limits. You're not going to tell me what's off limits. Whatever. And house anything HGTV. Are you getting 
Okay guys, so let me tell y'all what just happened. So I'm in Snellville today because you guys just saw we're getting Naya's hair, uh, Naya's getting her hair done. And so I had to come out and take care of some business. I saw an Ashley home store, right? So I'm like, you guys know we're looking for a nice bed. So I just want to get an idea for, you know, just what places we're gonna go to or come back to and their quality blah 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 so you guys let me know how do you sell or how should you sell or what makes you comfortable or uncomfortable when you go shopping in furniture stores like I know a lot of people are buying things online right now but some like I'm still one of those people that wants to put their hands on things before purchasing them this includes clothes like I'll buy clothes online occasionally but I still like to go out and try on clothes try on clothes and put my you know see what i like and that includes furniture like i want to see how tall the beds are i don't want you to just give me dimensions and measurements like i want to see the couches i want to see what i'm buying and so i go into so you know i finish doing what i'm doing and i go into um the furniture place and this young lady greeted me when i first walked in or whatever and you know i'm like she tells me her name <clears throat> and so on hold on you guys but anyway so i start you know i commence to um shop the store i'm looking around i told her i'm just looking um or whatever and so then i may have looked at like i may have taken five steps and i look you know out of my peripheral and i see her moving so i'm like okay so i get to like the first corner of the store and i'm just looking like i'm really just trying to focus on what i'm seeing and she is like right there i mean so she you know i wouldn't say pretend but she starts fluffing a pillow on a couch you know she's holding this pad or something and i'm just like please i hope you're not going to follow me around this store and anytime we go into these places you know they greet you they tell you their names um and then they say if you have any questions or if you need anything this is my name just I'm, I'm more than willing to help you or whatever this girl was so close you guys it was like get out of my space like I can't, you you like I couldn't even really focus on what I was looking at, what I wanted to do, which was browse. So anyway, you know, so I get to one of the beds, and you know, she's like, "Oh, this, isn't this a really beautiful bed?" And I was like, "Yes, it is." And even if I was going to purchase something, like you are not allowing me the opportunity to just look at this stuff. I, when I have a question, I will come ask you. Like I don't need you to come ask me every two and a half seconds or give me your opinion on what I'm seeing. Like, and I get it. I totally get that people work from commission and, and all that. Like I totally, how do I get across this highway? without killing myself i was just like oh my god like you guys just you had to have been there i wish i was vlogging at the time because it was just too close for comfort so i get to another section and you know a couch and she was like this is really nice isn't it and i'm like what not even a thought that i had turn left on bethany church road but you are in you are injecting your opinion and your like you're on my space like oh my god so when i got you know close to the door she's at the door oh so she was like you know can i give you my my card or whatever and i was like yeah that's fine but i'm thinking in my head like i'm i'm not coming back in the store or i'm not like no i was like so what i did say was you know is is everything that's in here online because i pretty much got an idea for you know the quality of their their items and she said yes she said but it's not under ashley's store which i didn't know that it's ashley home the ashley home store so I, I got back in my car and i pulled up the website and i'm shopping on the website like i am sitting in the parking lot shopping on the website because that's how uncomfortable she made if she made me so you guys let me know like am i was i overreacting i mean i just felt weirdly uncomfortable it's kind of like how people talk about their personal space and actually be honest with you when i'm talking to people just you know in a one-on-one -on -one conversation i don't mind people being close to me like that's not a problem because basically if i'm speaking to you i've invited you into my space you know what i'm saying so i'm okay with that 
but when we're in a store when I'm out and about kind of like and you're like a stranger stranger to me and I'm telling you I'm just looking or whatever I've said to you and you're still like around me I'm uncomfortable I, I'm just uncomfortable. So let me let me know you guys down in the comments. Like let me know if I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm back here now. So I will see you guys. Ooh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. If for some reason we don't pick this camera up again today, which I'm sure we will though. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow or in the next vlog. Bye. Good morning. Happy Thursday. You want to say happy Thursday? Say happy Thursday. No. You tell them happy Thursday. We already spoke. So, yes, it's a mess back here behind me because I am packing. Um, we have 20 days left um, before it's time to close. So, I've done some preliminary, you know, stuff to declutter. Um, I've gotten rid of half of my closet. I took those things to Goodwill. And um, so now I have, I'm getting up and I'm packing up all of the winter clothes. So I'm gonna start with everything that I am absolutely just not gonna wear anytime before now in 20 days. So this is the box. And then these jeans that I actually cannot fit <laughs> either. So I'm not even wearing them now because, you know, jeans are year round, but I can't wear those. And pretty much everything that is stored up here are, you know, winter stuff. I've already started pulling them down, so that's why some things are hanging. Um, and then these are what's left. A lot of these are clothes, again, that I will not wear between now and when we move. Really, everything is going to be packed, to be honest with you. But today, just specifically sweaters and slacks that I don't wear, which I don't have that much of that either because I gave away a lot of suits and um, blazers, you know, stuff like that. So everything over there basically are the hangers that came off of the clothes that I've given away. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with those. Those are huggable hangers. And in this trunk here are winter clothes. So I'm about to take those out. In case you haven't noticed. My hair looks a hot mess, okay? But this is what it is, right? I'm not getting glamorous to clean up or to film. So, lots of progress, I think. You never really know how much stuff you have to pack until you start packing, I'm telling you guys. But let me show you what I've already done. My side of the trunk here is clean and actually I took out some of Hubby's things that um, he, yeah, I have already decided he does not need any more of. It's either faded or something like that. And then over here, um, these are like my tights, like, you know, what do you call these? You know, tights with designs, you know, I used to wear these all the time back in the day and I will once I get this weight under control, so I'm not tossing these, but I am tossing these, which are Mitch match, like, so knee highs that I can't find the other one too, and I don't even wear knee highs anymore. But just like old black tights that they could possibly have a hole in them. Maybe not. I'm just not wearing them anymore. These are swimsuit covers. Um, so I'm keeping these. So this is really trash. Keeping keeping bathing suit. When I have a bathing suit box. So that must have missed it some kind of way. And then over here are actually some jeans that I did pull out over there. Blue jeans. And these are actually like size 14s. So I may be able to wear these. So I'm going to try these on. These are also 14s, I believe. 14, 16. So um, these were some big girl jeans. I think I got these from Target last year. These are 7 jeans. 7. And these are size 14 too. So I'm going to try these on. And then decide. If they fit now, they will go in the box. Or I may wear them, you know, up until the move. And if they don't fit, they will go to Goodwill. <sighs> and that's the update. And then, um, actually, Naya gave me some clothes, too, that she sorted through. So, this is the Goodwill box now. And then, this is the that's Christmas stuff. <laughs> Not Christmas, our ugly Christmas sweaters. And stuff like that so this box I'll be labeling just like jeans and sweaters winter stuff and just so you guys 
can see here this is what well, we track like our our weight for our hdg here the date that we close is here on the 18th so we literally have three weekends rather to get our lives together <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pack Hubby's winter stuff too, just kind of start him a box. And um, then when he gets home, he can put the Goodwill box in my car, so. Let's see, guys.